In this video, we'll be talking about a quick concept about bilaminar embryonic disc. This is a terminology used in embryology. So we are looking at second week of embryonic development. And at this point of time, at around day seven, the embryo is known as the blastocyst. Blastocyst would eventually be embedded into the endometrium. So let's look at the layers of the blastocyst. The outer layer in this beige color is known as trophoblast. The red layer is the inner cell mass. Let me clarify, the inner cell mass is the future embryo. The trophoblast would provide supportive structures. In a moment, it would be clear. But the inner, mem inner cell mass is the future embryo. Bilaminar embryonic disc is a two-layered structure which has first the hypoblast and the epiblast layer. Here you can see the blue layer is the hypoblast and the red layer is epiblast and the cavity between them is the amniotic cavity. Now the hypoblast consists of cuboidal cell whereas the epiblast has columnar cell. So obviously these two layers are distinct and this structure is known as the bilaminar embryonic disc. We would eventually understand what is the fate of this bilaminar embryonic disc. But before that, let me clarify that trophoblast is the outer layer which further divides into cytotrophoblast and the syncytiotrophoblast. Cytotrophoblast helps the blastocyst to get embedded into the endometrium and the syncytiotrophoblast plays an important role in fetal and maternal exchange. So this is basically the future placenta. Now hypoblast, the layer from the bilaminar embryonic disc eventually give rise to the primitive yolk sac. It's important to note that before the placenta is formed and the maternal fetal blood connection is established, yolk sac is the key entity which give nutrition and help in gas exchange for the embryo. Now the other component of the bilaminar embryonic disc is the epiblast. Now here the epiblast is again in the red and hypoblast is in the green. Remember, epiblast is actually the future embryo. All the layers of the embryo would be formed from the epiblast by the process of gastrulation. Three distinct germ layers, namely ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm would be formed eventually in the third week of the human embryonic development. And this is happening at around day 16 or day 15. We have a detailed video about each of these week of the development, all the links are provided in the i button. You can also look at the process of gastrulation in much more details. All the links would be found in i button.